Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're deciding between NoCodeDB and Airtable, you're comparing two no-code platforms that help you manage data visually, but with different approaches. One is open source and developer friendly, and the other is polished and built for teams. Let's break down the key differences so that you can choose what fits your workflow best. And I will divide this video into certain areas. And first I'm going to talk about a platform overview, and after all we'll talk about pricing and costs and more. So let's not wait any longer and dive into this video, starting off with a platform overview of NoCodeDB. NoCodeDB is launched in 2021 and is an open source alternative to Airtable that turns any SQL database into a collaborative Airtable style interface. It's great if you want full control over your backend while still working in a visual environment. Airtable launched in 2012 is a no-code platform that blends spreadsheet simplicity with database power, making it easy for teams to manage structured data without coding. Let's talk about pricing and costs. Well, no-code DB is free and open source. You can self-host it at no cost. And for teams that want a hosted version with extra features and support, pricing is still very affordable compared to Airtable. So in here we can take a look at the plans and as you can see we have startup that is free, then we have team and business and they normally cost money and as you can see $19 fixed for the team per month per workspace and business is $100 per month per workspace and right now they are free so you can check risk free if it suits you and if not you can just cancel it without any money lost. So as you can see it's really cheap and affordable. Airtable has a free tier with basic features, but if you want more records, automation and syncing, you will need a paid plan starting at $20 per user per month and you also have business and there's also an option to have an enterprise plan and for this you need to contact sales. But as you can see, the team plan has way more benefits than the free plan, but it is really nice to start with the free plan just without any risk. So with the free plan you have all of the basic features, so that's great to start out. And now let's take a look at features and tools. Well, NoCodeDB connects to existing SQL databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, or SQLite, and gives you grid gallery, Kanban, and calendar views on top. It also supports REST APIs, role-based access, and workflows, making it powerful for custom apps. Airtable is more polished out of the box, offering real-time collaboration, integrations, templates, and a growing ecosystem of extensions and automations. And let's make a final verdict between the two. Well, I would say choose NoCodeDB if you want full control, open source flexibility, and are comfortable working with your own database. Go with Airtable if you want a plug and play experience for your team with built in collaboration and ease of use. And which one are you building with? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing, and then I will see you in the next one.